Yo guys, Kurt here. So last time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, Bowser challenged us in the ring and we trounced him pretty much instantly. He was uh, not too hard to fight. Um, and X has been giving us some objectives to do, starting out using this storage key. Uh, we were told to go to the storage next to Grubba's office, so let's go and do that. Use the Yoshi Kid to make the walk time just a little bit nicer for us. So you're telling me that you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Lean. I heard a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Huh, fine. Leave the rest of this matter to me. Go back to your post. And listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this, or I'll have your job. What if someone overheard you? You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places you, where you have no business being. I'm just in a hallway, lady. What the heck? Alright, well... So they're hearing noises in here, huh? Oh, mm-hmm-hmm, we meet again, you husky mustache punk you. Are you a friend of Gonzalez? I didn't know you hung with crooks, and you look like one. Security was talking about noises in here. Did you make noise while you stole stuff? Oh please, no one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying about in here. Well, whatever lady, but you are a thief, right? Hush, all you need to know is I've taken what I needed and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. Mm-hmm, and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Is that what's called a kiss? I heard about those things. I'm jealous, only you get it? <laughs> I almost forgot, my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful, lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye, my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. Oh, she took off, huh? What was that kiss like? I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> hey, but what do you think she meant about somebody being upstairs, huh? Find the staircase switch to reach the attic from X. The staircase switch? How the heck could there be a staircase in here? Well, time to swap over to Flurry. We have a few covers to blow off of these uh, blocks. For one, we're going to show that there's a badge hidden back there. Break all these, and there is the staircase switch. So first, let's grab the badge. We got Charge P. Add charge to your partner's tactics menu. I can't remember, but I feel... Oh, there is one in here. That was a lucky guess. Well, I mean, somewhat. That one I actually feel like I remembered somewhat, so... That cutscene was a lot faster. I took a drink of coffee. Um, alright. Oops, I missed the stairs. Um, with this, we got a staircase to hit. Ooh, hey, free shine sprite. Do we have... Oh, we only have two. Okay. Um, wait, hold on. Okay, yeah, so that door's locked. Let's switch over to Yoshi Kid. Make our way over here, and before we hop down there, I'm gonna send Koops this way and get HP plus P. So those are both pretty decent badges if you're working. Oh, that is six? That is more expensive than I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be on the same lines as um, Mario's HP. Plus, but and I don't want to take I mean in order to show off all this we'll do this uh, charge P works just like Mario's charge um, you use a turn to charge up your attack power and on the next turn you can keep boosting it if you like and then 
your next attack will be boosted by however many times you charged. Uh, HP plus just adds 5 HP to your partner, so now Coops is sitting at a pretty 20 instead of 15. Uh, we will have to go heal up if we want to get that 20, but other than that, yeah. But let's break that block and... See what's going on here. So you didn't find hot or hay or nobody in the storage room. That what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba. It appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there. We'd miss too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey, and by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I deleted his spot on our roster per regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer has any official connection to King K er, to KPP, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all fighters who have gone missing. Oh, fighters have sure been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. When tarnation's going on? I haven't heard some security agent saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellas King K headed on home for a spell. If word gets out about missing fires, it sure ain't gonna be good for business, no siree. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, th that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Hey, Z didn't mean to pry now. How about this then? Heard of the Crystal Star? Uh, no, I've never heard of, su of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie. Well, I appreciate your time, Mr. Jolene. You go on ahead and run along now, you hear? Well, this ain't a fine how do you do. Seems like good fighters are a dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only jaw I still got around here. Mario, did you get all that? Roger's going missing? Talk about scary. I figured King K just took an early retirement and headed home. One eye? Dang ceiling spoke to me. Hey, somebody up there! Uh. Oh, Nelly. Just a little barping beetle. Here I am thinking someone's up there peeping. I gotta relax, take some yoga class or something. Yep, well, back to the ring. I love this accent I'm giving him, it's so fitting. Wow, that was too close. So, Mari, you heard that part about the Crystal Star, right? Miss Jolene acted pretty weird, I thought. Uh, wow, I did, okay. Miss Jolene acted pretty weird, I thought. Kind of suspicious. We can look into it later, I guess. For now, we better clear out before they find us. Alright. But let's clear out. Oh no, the cat's here. She's gonna start yelling at me. Give me one second. Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> now there's not a cat trying to yell at me. Well, she may still try to yell at me, but now there's a door in between us. I wish I didn't have to do that. I feel bad putting a door in between me and her. I don't think she's got separation anxiety, but like, I don't know. It just, it worries me to do that. Cause she'll, she will sit at the door and wait for me. Um, but now that we've got all that business over in the storage room, let's reserve a match. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez, fix for a five, huh? Well, all right then, let me just see here. Your next opponent will be rank three in the Glitz Pit, Chomp Country. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid switching partners out. You gotta go with who, you, who brung you. Fight to the end, side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in there and stand by your pard. Okay. Um. It's gonna be difficult. But we are gonna go with Goombella. In that case, I'm actually gonna take the charge stuff off of her. Um. Piercing Blow might be good. Another pretty lucky on. Quick chains we don't need for this specific fight since uh, we can't change them anyways. So I 
think let's load... Oh, wait, no. Multi-balance isn't what we need. Um, I'm gonna warn you, this fight does have a lot of defense, so... I don't remember if Quakehammer pierces defense in this game. We're gonna try it, but I don't actually remember. And let's get some happy hearts going. Um... Is that everything I need to do? Also, I want to fix that, because that's in a weird... Yeah. Okay, we got a little bit of defense. We got... Um... A lot of status moves. So that's kind of what I'm hoping to do here, is get a lot of status out. Unfortunately, Goombella's not going to be good for much of anything. Uh, let's see. The Red Orb for your orb. What? Yep, fight to the finish with Chomp Country. I I don't remember that line at all. Red or Fear Orbs. Are Chomps canon canonically uh, stone-based? Arf, 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 arf! Yourselves ready to battle! I guess if you think of like Super Mario Galaxy, they do break like stone, so maybe they are canonically stone? I'm not actually sure. Maybe one of y'all can let me know. That's a red chomp. It's a rapid red biting chewing chomping fool. Max HP is 6, attacks 5, and defense is 3. Its attacks are so powerful we could be in a world of hurt if we don't beat it fast. Oh wait, hold on. Attack 5, defense is 3, okay. Yes, our jump's not gonna do anything. Maybe I can still get status off? Its HP is pretty low though, so it seems so items and special moves might just work. Just look at that color. Think someone painted it after it fell asleep at a party? <laughs> That'd be rude if someone did. Okay. Gonna take a shot. Ah, nope, no sleep. Oh you have a Oh no! Um, I may have to use a special and get out of this. I wasn't wanting to do that on this. Oh, we don't have many healing items either. Because, yeah, our piercing blow is only going to do, like, four damage. I want to see if this pierces. So it's only gonna hit for two. Oh, mm. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. These guys are at least decently easy to super guard compared to some enemies, so... Either way, they're done on next turn. I, I just didn't want to use a special. Yes! Ow. Um. You know what? These guys do have defense. Have we shown off piercing blow yet? There we go. Piercing blow is a good move for helping with uh, getting rid of enemies like the chomps that just have a high defense. Fight money, which is 14 coins. How many coins do we have? I probably need to buy some healing items. Oh. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around about the crystal star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. Great, our angry pen pal again. He sure seems to have a lot of information. I mean, if he knows about the crystal stars and the missing fighters, then this guy is totally holding the key to this entire mystery. But like, who is it? Who? Alright, let's get a match reserve so I can work on badges and then we'll rest. Next opponent will be rank 2 in the glitz pit. Hamma bla blah blah blah. Hamma bam and flare. I don't know why, that name has always been hard for me to read out loud. Now listen son, in this battle I want you to let your enemy damage you five times. FIVE TIMES?! Oh no. Oh, this is a bad fight to get that one.
Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. Another gift arrived from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it over here if that's okay. Do with it what you will. Okay, well, let's heal up. Wow, it looks totally yummy. I cannot say no I cannot say no to cake. Let's scarf that thing. Eat the cake. Yes. Yes, cake time! Oh, oh, so good! Hold your horses, Mario. I saved you a little. Wait, I feel kind of weird. Do you ever feel like your body's, like, totally going numb? No, oh, I can't move. And yeah, now we have no access to party members. This is gonna be rough. You don't need any partner badges at the moment. So I'm gonna try to win this fight, but I doubt this is gonna happen. What? Your partner's been paralyzed? By Kate? Tough luck, we gotta go. The house is packed. Come on, follow me. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Execution Greg Gonzalez and the Big Bad Brute Bros. Yep, a fight to the finish with a hammer with... <sighs> yep, a fight to the finish with a hammer bam, and a flare. Well, hold the phone, folks. What intermination is going on here? The Great Gonzalez is flying solo this time. How's he going to survive all alone? My grandpappy's hammer is going to strike you down, man. Here it comes. Get yourselves ready to battle. I don't know these guys' tattle information off the top of my head, so... I want to say they each have 7 HP? A lot of attack power. And I don't believe they have any defense, so I'm going to go in with a Fire Draft to start out. Oh, if I can survive this... Oh my gosh, I actually survived. I'm gonna win this. Oh, that's not good though, because I want their tattles. Because they're, it's... I don't know where else we could get tattles for these guys. Oh, this sucks. Um, now I'm in the dilemma. Do I run or do I win? Okay, not quite what I wanted to have happen, but you know, that actually worked so much better than I was expecting. I'm like so sorry Mario, you're all alone out there, no wonder you lost. Hey, but I'm totally fine now, I'll make it up to you next battle, I promise. Still, poison cake, somebody wanted us out of the picture, we better watch our steps. Okay, I'm gonna heal up, um, Basically, all I need to do is use Fire Drive, and we will pretty much win that. Serve have a match. Is, so, is Fire Drive a guaranteed burn chance if it hits an opponent? This one will be... Oh, we're fighting Chomp Country again. And we got to appeal. Son of a gun. Well, I don't... Whoop. Yeah, no, that was the right page. We don't need Goombella for this fight. And now to speed it up.
Okay, now for the actual fight. Again, I could have won this last time, but... Eh. Get our tattles in? That's a hammer bro. You know him. He throws hammers, hence the name. Max HP is 7, attack is 4, and defense is 1. When his HP drops and he thinks he's in trouble, he'll toss a hammer barrage. Nothing about these guys has changed. They're tough as ever, so brace yourself. Dang, this book always skips the important stuff. How do they carry endless hammers? I think for this turn we're gonna have Mario defend. And we'll tattle this one. That's a fire bro! The uh, this relative of the him bro spits out fire. Max HP 7, attack 3, and defense is 1. If you get hit by a fireball, you might catch on fire, so guard well, okay? When his HP gets low, he gets desperate and totally starts attacking like a fiend. Yes! Cool. That's what I was hoping would happen. Whoops. Oh gosh. That was a lot of those. Okay. And our last tattle on the Boomerang Bro. Oh, they drop a lot of experience. I think we're gonna level up on this one. That's a Boomerang Bro. This relative of the Hammer Bro prefers Boomerangs. Max HP is 7, attack is 2, and defense is 1. He attacks twice with his Boomerangs, on the way out and on the way back. When his HP starts getting low, he'll, he fights all the harder, prepared for multiple attacks. Well, we don't need to worry about that so much. But well, luckily he never burned us, so that was good. Oh, really? We need one more experience- no, two more experience points to level up. Are you kidding me, dude? We got ourselves a winner, the Grey Gonzalez! What you expect, huh? We rock! Fight money, we get... 15 coins. Rank grows to 2. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Not too shabby. I think we got one more fight in us. Since on time, I think we should be good. Um, basically just showing off what happened with the cake kind of slowed us down. So, well, bull howdy, Gonzalez, fixing for fight. Let's see. Next point. Uh, excuse me. Ranked one, Glitz Pit, the Coopinator. Now, listen, son. In this battle, I want you to keep that part of yours from attack. Oh, does. I think Tattles will be fine. I think Tattles will be fine. Um, Quake Hammer's gonna be my friend on this one. Because that'll help me flip the guy over. Gonna take Fire Drive off. I wanna get some more HP for this fight. Because this guy can actually be a bit rough at 10. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a second rest so that we can have oh, F, uh, 15 FP thanks to the badge. Alright, let's go. Yeah, hey, it's you and me now. You, how dare you interfere with my meditation. Time is too precious to squander on one such as you. Oh, what? Fine, dang. Rude. Razor Blade Brig Brigadier. Yep, fight to the finish with Koopa Nighter. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. You, finally, I get a piece of you. Finally, we'll see who's truly stronger. Get yourselves ready to battle! Okay. 
is gonna be rough because Cubello is just gonna have to be on a uh, guard after this. That's a dark Koopa Troll. These guys just totally ooze toughness, don't you think? Max HP is 25, attack is 5, and defense is 2. After it charges up power, its next attack will be devastating. Try to survive it. It's almost like those red eyes are there to warn you just how tough it is. Or maybe it just doesn't get much sleep. Oh, thank goodness, he doesn't get back up. I thought he did for some reason. Um, okay. Let's try the sleep stomp. Yes! Oh, that's actually really good. Defend now. Six turns if I don't wake him up. Soft Stomp might also be good. Yep, his defense is now lowered. So now... Ah, he got woke up. Okay, um, put him back to sleep. Hey, this is actually working pretty well. Defense is back to normal. We should be able to still take him out. Okay, never mind. I missed my action command. Well, either way, he's done. Not too shabby. I made him out to be a lot worse, but I didn't realize he wouldn't get back up, so, you know. And, thanks to that, we got ourselves another level up. And, uh, you already know it's going towards BP. <laughs> we got ourselves a winner, the Grey Gonzalez! T, no biggie. Here's your fight money. We received 15 coins. Mario's ranking rose to 1. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Hey, that's another mail. What do you think? Our ex-friend or the Haydenator? <laughs> Remove the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby from X. Oh, X again, huh? Okay, I still don't trust this guy, but I guess maybe it's a clue. Something's behind your posters in the lobby, huh? All right, I guess we gotta head to the lobby then. Yes, we will, but that'll wait for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, next time. Uh, bad outro, hold on. Sorry, it's still early for me. Uh, thank you guys so much, so much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, everybody.